Welcome back to my channel. My name is April and today I'm going to show you how I padded my dress form. There's a bunch of different ways you can approach this, but after some research, this method seemed the most interesting and cool. So let's try it out. First, you'll need a dress form. Mine is from Royal Dress Forms. It's all cushion and I can use my iron and steam on it. You're gonna need a roll of batting. This stuff is super lightweight and can be torn into whatever shape you want. You'll need some pins. These are satin pins that I use for draping. You'll need a tape measure. And lastly, you'll need a steamer. If you don't have one, you can use a steam setting on your iron. Most importantly, please make sure your dress form can handle steam and heat first before trying this method. Let's get started. First, you need the measurements of the person you're padding the dress form for. The three most important measurements is around the widest part of the chest, smallest part of the waist, and widest part of the hips. Since I'm padding for a pregnant body, I also need the measurement under the bust since that's the smallest part of the waist now. And of course, around the baby bump. Here are some more measurements to take on yourself or on your model to make the dress form a little more accurate. I measured my model's apex to center front or apex to apex, apex to side seam, middle of the shoulders to the apex, neck to the edge of the shoulders, around the neck, and anywhere else you think is worth measuring. This will help us check and make sure the proportions are accurate along the way. This is my first time upsizing a dress form and trying this method, so we're all learning together. I started with a small ripped piece of batting and covered the boobs first. At first, I took the time to really tear it and lay everything flat, but turns out it doesn't really matter because we're going to be layering even more on top and the steam shapes it to the form. For the first layer, you'll need to do the most pinning to hold the base in place. So just continue tearing pieces and pin them down. I kind of got carried away with the steaming because I was so amazed and it was a lot of fun watching it smooth out. But you don't have to steam after laying down every piece. Next time, I would try to pat up the dress form as much as possible first and then apply the steam to blend it all together. I think when I steamed it too often, it flattened the batting, making it take longer to pad the form. I also recommend mainly steaming the edges of the batting to seal it down. After my first layer over the boobs, I measured to check my progress and it went up half an inch. I still have a long way to go, about seven more inches. So now it's time to add some padding to the backside. I suggest you lay down bigger pieces unlike me because it took forever. Then later you can go back with small pieces to really shape the body. Just try to lay everything down as even as possible on both sides. If you need some areas to be more defined, use your pins to press the batting down. Yay, we made some progress! So next, I mark my model's apex measurements on the form to make sure the dimensions are correct. Now I can move on to the rest of the body, repeating the same technique. Since my model is pregnant, I pause for a bit to think about how I should create the baby bump. 
and decided to just fold up a couple layers of batting and pin it on to look like her bump. From there, you can start shaping it however you like. Since I'm making a flowy dress, I'm not focusing too much on the bottom of the belly. Keep adding more padding until it matches your measurements. It helps to look at your own body in the mirror or photos of your model's body as a reference so you can shape the side profile. You can continue covering the entire dress form, but I don't really need it for my design so I'm stopping here and just trimming the edges for a cleaner look. Feel free to put as little or as much effort into your dress form as you'd like. Some of you might only need it for a one-time use and others might be using it all the time. Mine is going to be a one-time use but I wanted to share this process to help you out. The cool thing is that you can recycle the batting when you're done and use it to create a new body size later. To finalize the form, I marked all the measurements on the right side of the body since we only drape on one side. Then using some red tape, I outlined the markings that were on the original dress form. And that's basically it. Now I'm ready for draping. I'm honestly so amazed at how good this turned out. It took me about three hours to do it all. Just remember that your dress form is meant to be a guide not a perfect fit. You'll still need to true up your pattern and fit the actual person. For those that plan to use this as their main dress form, you could even create a stretchy fitted cover to hold everything in place and smooth it out to make it look legit. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video helped you out and I'll see you next time. Bye!